As in this video, we're going to talk about the uh, add theme support function with the custom header feature. So in my previous videos, we have already discussed that the add theme support function registers the theme support for a given feature in the backend. Okay, and um, we have discussed different options. Uh, for example, the post formats feature. Uh, we have discussed the post thumbnails, uh, custom backgrounds, and now in this video we're going to talk about the custom header uh, feature. Okay, and it accepts two parameters. First is the feature, and second is the arguments. Arguments is optional, feature is required. Okay, so custom header is basically the feature argument that we're passing here. And we all know that we need to define this function in functions.php of our theme. So I'm into my functions.php and we have discussed this before. I've defined this custom function called Nova Setup. Inside of this, I'm calling all of my add theme support functions with different features uh, to register them. And um, I'm using the after theme setup hook to call my custom function called Nova Setup, which is going to call all of the other functions, which is add theme support. Okay, so let's discuss this one, add theme support, custom header. This is the one we're going to discuss in this video. And I'm passing the second parameter as apply filters. Using apply filters function, which is going to return this particular array in case if there are no custom function hooked to this hook. In case if there are, then that custom func function can modify this, the value, uh, uh, the arguments of this array, and then that will be returned by the apply filters. Otherwise, if there are no custom function attached to this hook, that we're creating, then it will just return this particular array with all of these arguments uh, at this parameter. Okay, so if we check, uh, this particular function will create a custom header option into our backend appearance header. This is this option basically is created by the add theme support function with custom header feature. Okay, uh, so if you click on it, you can see that we get an option to add an image for our header section of our site. In case if we comment this out, we can see that option is gone. So now we no longer have the header option to change the header image. So let's put that back in. And sure enough, we have got the header option again. Okay, so this allows us to add an image in the header section. Uh, let's add a new image. Let's say I want to add uh, this one. Select and crop. Crop the image. And if you notice, nothing happens. So by just registering this function is not enough. What we really need to do is we need to use the header image function. And we need to call that function into our header.php file to be able to display the image that we have selected here on the front end. So right now on the front end we don't have an image because we haven't called that function. So all we have to do is go on to header.php because that's where the header image will be displayed. And over here just before the navigation of our menu, so this menu this menu is coming from WP nav menu function, just below this nav uh, tag we can just define the image tag and header image and uh, in, inside of the source we can call this header image function and the job of the header image function is to uh, display the link uh, which is used for the source of this image okay and then we can also define the height and the width we can use the get custom header function and use the height property which gives us the height of the image and then get custom header function uh, which is an object it's going to give us the uh, with this function is going to return an object and it's going to give us the width property of that object uh, image uh, image object okay so let's save this and refresh the page and let's see I think we haven't published it over here let's publish it Let's refresh the page and sure enough we have got our uh, header image over here which is custom current header yeah so we've got a header image using this particular uh, feature right 
Cool. So I think uh, that's about it for this particular feature. And I'll see you in the next video.